Welcome to r slash choosing beggars, where free is way too expensive. Hi, when I went to pick up the kids today, I saw you had some empty canvas. I'm looking to gift my wife a family portrait. I've seen your style and I like it. I'm wondering if you'll be down for it. You could gift it to us as a Christmas present. I'd love to paint you guys, but I'm saving those canvases for when I have something on my mind. Or have a paid commission. They're gallery style and are quite expensive for me at the moment. I could probably paint them a portrait for fairly cheap if you can provide for the canvas yourself. You're my wife's best friend. You should do it for free. I'm spending close to $5,000 in gifts. Having kids is not cheap and is very stressing, so help me out. I'll even consider paying you for the few days you watch the kids for us. You can even buy the canvas from that money. Wait, what? I talked to Blank and she said she'd pay me for babysitting. I'm lost. Am I supposed to give you an art piece for you to give your wife and you can pass it as your gift? Hmm, kind of. Just giving a friend a hand in time of need. You already have some clean canvas. I don't know what the big deal is. You already bought them, and by the time you get inspired to paint them, you probably won't even be alive. I'm joking, lol. Seriously, you can even use us as an example and you can post it online. I bet you you'll get sales and we help each other that way. Are you going to pay me for babysitting your four kids this week? I'm not seeing this as a very fair deal and feel you're trying to take advantage of me. Your wife knows my current situation and I'm sure she'd understand. I can't spend over 30 hours in using materials I can't currently replace for free. I am sorry. I hope this is a joke. Lol, you're not thinking straight. All artists need exposure and come on, you won't take that long. You should feel privileged I want to have one of your paintings on my wall. This is for my wife. I thought she was like your sister. Can't you just make her Christmas? I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling well, so good night. You know, the universe is punishing you because of how greedy you are. I'm not even asking you to spend money because you already have unused material available. No wonder your life sucks. You have a bad vibe. I won't be bringing my kids anymore. Don't want your bad energy to attach to them. Good luck. Hi, I'm sorry. I didn't think about what I was saying yesterday. Can you take care of the kids today, please? I told my wife I'll take them to you. Our regular babysitter can't take them today. Can you take them right now? I know it's last minute and pretty early, but I have business I need to do. I'll be back by 10. I only need help with the twin anyway, and they're asleep, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Aw, oh, choosing beggar, did she not reply? Do you not have a babysitter? Because it sounds like the universe is punishing you for being greedy and having a bad vibe. Hello, is the laptop still available? Yes. So, how much for it? About $8.99 with tax. Can I get it for a hundred? No, it's my own laptop. I got it for $1,400, but I reduced it to $8.99. Did you even see the ad? No negotiating the price. Okay, F you. Okay, bye. Stop messaging me. Okay. Stop, jerk. Hiya, I saw in your post that you're building a Christmas village for someone. Hey, you read my message? Hey, sorry, it's just kind of late and I figured I would get back to you in the morning. But, yes, I'm building a Christmas village display for two people at the moment. Wow, way to run a business. Well, I would really like one, please. I'm sorry, it's two in the morning and I'm just up with my six-month-old. But, alright, how big were you thinking? How big is the one you're building? This one will be six feet tall and it has six shelves. Oh, that's perfect. When could I get it by? I could get it done by the end of the next week. I do require the cost of materials before I start to build. For a 6 foot 1, it'll be 110 and I'll need 50 up front. I can send you my PayPal link or we can meet up sometime this week. Hold up. You're charging for these? Lo 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 lo. What? Why? Who can afford that? Um, of course I charge. I'm not going to buy the wood and whatever else and spend my time building something for free. I thought that was a pretty fair price to be honest. And two other people can afford that, so far. So, did you want one or not? Lol, you're literally stapling wood together and charging people. What is life? 
I have to buy the wood to build it, and I'm not stapling it. If I was, I would also need to purchase the staples to do it. My dad can literally build this like tomorrow. I'm not gonna pay for that. Can you just hook it up this once? I really want one. Well then, I'm not sure why we're having this conversation since you'll have one tomorrow after your dad builds it. Sorry, I can't just hook it up. Wow, that's a sucky thing to say. Come on, I have all the village stuff to put in it already. I've already wasted plenty of money on getting those things. Hello? Are you effing serious? I'm gonna leave an effing brutal review. On what? My personal page? I don't have a business, and I'm doing this in my free time for extra income. Thanks for your interest, but no thanks. Wow. Wow. Hello? Hello? Wow. You're effing rude and have been since the first message. Leaving review now, you butt. Hello? I'd pay 40. Jesus, F, F, U. Hello? And then, one month later, OP gets another message from this guy. So, my dude, it's after Christmas. Why don't we work out a deal and you do me one of those villages for 30 bucks? Let me think about it and I'll get back to you. Oh, okay, awesome. I think I'd want it stained a blue color because that's usually my theme for Christmas. Thought about it. Gonna have to go with an F no, but hey, thanks for your interest, winky face. OMG, are you effing serious? How effing rude can you be? It's after Christmas, 30 bucks is a generous offer for something you're not going to be able to sell for a year. Just wow. F you and your stupid effing village. You do realize that that's not the only thing I produce and sell, right? Someone literally ordered one this year and by word of mouth, I had orders flood in. Then, I have your peasant self coming at me, offering me not even enough to pay for the wood. Wow. Man, where the flip do I leave a review for you? I looked all over and I most definitely want to leave one. By law, you have to tell me. By law? The flip are you even talking about? Yes, you moron. You are a seller and I am a buyer who has rights to be able to warn others of you. Moron. <laughs> In the words of you, hold up. You cannot be serious. Lol, you're the one who is literally harassing me to build you stuff for free. F off, loser. I'll find it myself. I know your family and you're effed. So effed. So effing rude. You think you're funny? Gah, F, 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 you. You are over. Hello? WTF? WTF, dude, WTF. Open up, this is the police. You're under arrest for not telling people where to leave a review for your business. You're looking at 10 years of hard time, you sicko. For this next post, OP is a tattoo artist. What's your rate? 220 bucks an hour, but I pretty much charge by the piece. What do you have in mind? I want to get something on my leg covered up, but that's out of my price range. Okay, well, Ink Money, Big City, and Idle Hands are local shops with great artists if you want to shop around. I'm out of the States at the moment anyway, so there'd be a wait. Can't you cut me a deal? I'm a single mom, lol. I don't give a flip if you run an orphanage, to be honest. Wow, F you, dude. How about I let everyone know you're a jack-off? Well, considering he posted this on Reddit to show everyone how much of a choosing beggar you are, I have a sneaking suspicion he wouldn't really mind. Looking for free laptop for work. Price, zero pounds. I am looking for a laptop that I can use for my work and home. Its size can be anywhere from 11 inches to 15.6. I will need it delivered to my address. Will be given if I accept your offer. Brands I would accept, Microsoft, HP, Acer, Asus, Lenovo, Apple, etc. I need an AirPod Pro because I never had a chance to get one and I can't never listen to my music while I'm at the gym working out. And my old headphone broke and I don't have enough money to buy AirPods, frowny face. Why don't you just buy Amazon's wireless earbuds? No, thumbs down. I run a company where we hire out wedding and event service providers with our main focus being photography and videography. 
Other services include DJs, drone pilots, hair and makeup artists, etc. Not relevant at all. So, a few months back, I get an instant chat from a bride via our website. She informs me that they're coming down to South Africa in December and they need a wedding photographer and videographer. I send our packages to her and she says her fiancé wants to call me. I say that's fine and give her my number. A few hours pass and I'd almost forgotten about them but my phone finally rings. The fiancé, speaking in a very heavy German accent, starts sweet-talking me, mentioning how people rave about our fantastic work and service. I'm calling BS on every word he says, but I'm also infamous for my inability to say no. He ends up offering us about a third of what the packages charge, offering to make the hours less, removing any physical copies, etc. He also adds that he'll give us a $500 tip on the night. I ask him why he can't just add that as part of the quote, to which he replies, Gentleman's agreement. Anyway, somehow, I accept his insane offer. If I was a drinker, I'd be saying that I really should stop drinking at work. I had emphasized that they will get no overtime. If my people stay one minute longer than agreed upon, I'm going to charge them. He said it was fine. So what they required us for was two hours for the Friday and three hours for the Saturday. But it did require me redoing the entire shift list for that weekend as to free two qualified people to go cover their events. The Friday event, I did the photos myself and took one of the videographers with me, and I will add, they were insanely nice, especially the groom. The time did drag a bit because there really wasn't much to shoot. Just a group of people sitting around a table, but whatever. After an hour and a half, the groom told us we could leave. Awesome. I wasn't able to do the second evening myself. I had made them aware of this from the start, but sent a different photographer, one much more talented than me if I'm being honest, and the same videographer from the night before. They were booked from 6.15 to 9.15. I told them to stay until 9.45 to make up the 30 minutes we'd skipped the night before. So how we work is that none of my people own their own gear and everything belongs to me. Therefore, after each shift, the shooters have to return the gear to me. The weddings they were shooting was about a 25 minute drive from my place and the one I was shooting was an hour drive. I was also booking until 10pm. I got home after 11pm and saw that they hadn't returned yet. All my other teams started arriving shortly after me and returned their gear but no sign of those two. This had me worried as they were working the closest and were supposed to finish before anyone else. I tried calling but no answer from either of them. Just before midnight, I got in my car and went out to look for them. I'd driven for about 10 minutes when I saw them passing me from the opposite direction. I turned my car around and drove home. I asked them what had happened. They explained that they had stayed until 10.45 as ordered, but as they were about to start packing up, the bride had sent her maid of honor to request another hour. They had explicitly said that they'll talk to me about it afterwards and I can just add it to their invoice. They were also making my videographer do things that were only reserved for our biggest package. More importantly though, apparently the couple had gone full entitled people at the second event, yelling at my photographer and just being completely rude. I have a very low tolerance for rude people. The next afternoon, Sunday, I see I have a missed call from the groom and then a voice note, thanking me for my team and then adding that they're leaving the country in seven days, so they would appreciate it if I could have their wedding photos and videos done before then. They also want all their raw materials on a hard drive. He made no mention of the overtime. I stared at this message kinda dumbstruck as our contract clearly stipulates that the waiting period for photos is 4 weeks and 8 weeks for video. His quotation also clearly said no physical copies. I texted him back the next morning saying that there was no way I was going to have everything done before January. I did offer to give them the raws before they leave but a hard drive would have to be added to the invoice along with the overtime bill. To this, he replied that he would like to call me to discuss our situation. I knew exactly what was coming and I was dreading that phone call. The phone call happened later that afternoon. This story has already gone on way too long, so I'm going to skip most of it and just cut to the parts that made my blood boil. So you say you cannot have it done before we leave? Unfortunately not. Oh, that disappoints me, because all our guests are asking how much longer the photos are going to take, but we understand. Great, I'm glad you understand. I can give you the raws if you wish to, but you'll have to pay for an external. I have some in stock. I don't want to pay for a hard drive. You can just WeTransfer me all the raws. No, I can't. Oh, why? 
because it's over 100 gigs of materials and this is South Africa. With our internet speed, it'll take about two years. Oh, do you think we need the raw materials? No, I don't. Okay. Long, awkward pause. I don't understand why there's an overtime bill. Because you asked my people to stay an extra hour? No, they only stayed 10 minutes longer and you owed us 30 minutes from the night before. I took the 30 minutes into account and they still stayed an hour after that. No, that's not true. I have the timestamps on the photos when the first and last ones were taken. You want me to send that to you? No, I don't. Awesome. But we hired you and got someone else. You hired the company, not me. And on Friday, you even said that I must enjoy my wedding on Saturday. You always knew you weren't getting me. But we were not happy with who you sent. Really? Why is that? I just don't think we should be charged extra for them. Unfortunately, that's what we agreed upon. But you offer me a better price on the overtime? I am offering you a better price on overtime. Oh, but this is the best you can do? If you take into account the tip we never got, then this is actually almost nothing. What tip? The gentleman's agreement we made. I don't know what you mean. That's the surprise of the century. So, when do we get the photos? In January, but you need to pay the rest of your invoice first, including the overtime. Yes, you send us everything and then we pay. No, the contract you sign stipulates that you will receive nothing until all invoices have been settled. That's our policy. Yes, but then we don't know you ever send photos. I thought you'd heard so many people tell you about how great our service is. Yeah, but I'm not happy with this. You send us everything and we decide if we want to pay. Yeah, that's not happening. But you can't ask me to trust you like this. You're right, we can't trust each other. I think the simplest solution is that I refund your deposit, delete your wedding, and we can be done with each other because I've heard enough. I feel I have offended you. You haven't, but you're wasting my time and I'm done doing favors for you. The only difference between you and our other clients is that they paid full price. Okay. Great, I'll wait for the money to show up in my account and then I'll start the editing process. And you cannot offer me a better price on the overtime? Have a good Christmas. And I hung up the phone. The next morning, the bride sent me a text that they just paid the outstanding balance and now want their photos because January is a long time to wait. January was eight days away. It's now been three days and the money has yet to show in my account. If I were that photographer, I'd only have one word to say to them. Deleted. That was r slash choosing beggars and if you want to support my channel and this content then hit that like button because it really helps my channel grow in the YouTube algorithm.